Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be going through Act 7, Chapter 3, and Quest Number 3. And I'm gonna show you what I consider the easy path. And word of advice, the easy path is relative to your roster and your skills. Okay, now, you're gonna see the uh, active buffs here. Triple Threat, Power Shield, Use It or Lose It, and uh, Enhanced Power Drain, okay? Um, don't really care about the Enhanced Power Drain. Uh, triple Threat, uh, basically, you're going to have a 50% chance to be inflicted with a debuff. And Ghost is great for this path because she can convert those debuffs to Furies, all right? So the triple threat, that that one was, you know, annoying, but it was all right. Power shield, you're gonna be doing, what, 400% more damage. You don't do any damage, as you see here, uh, with your basic attacks, but your special attacks do like 400% more damage. So any champion that can uh, hit really, really hard with their special attacks would be great here. But you also have a use it or lose it. As soon as you get a bar of power, you have eight seconds to use it or else you get drained by like 20%. Okay, so that came into play. I actually had to um, restart because I went in here with my six star ghost. My six star ghost is not max sig. I think she's like sig 40. You notice I'm in here with my five-star ghost. My five-star ghost is max sig, and it made a huge difference. When I was going with my six-star, it was very difficult to try to get to a special two, and I was finding that I was having to fire off like a special one, which of course I cannot phase the recoil, so I was taking recoil damage, and it just wasn't a good time. But with my five-star, I could generate a lot more power. If you're not familiar with Ghost's signature ability, you gain power when they miss. So I phase and they attack me and I'm gaining power because of it. And the higher my sig, the more power I'm gaining. So the six star wasn't really gaining a lot of power. And so it was making it more difficult for me to get to that special two. But with the five star, very easy very very easy okay so ghost was great if you have somebody who can you know generate their own power that's great as well you know i i haven't tried it but i think hyperion would be a really good uh option for uh this path as well uh because that power shield is wonderful now the one thing that I would be concerned with with uh, Hyperion is that the triple threat, I think it's an incinerate, and he's not incinerate immune. So he might not be um, a good option for this path. Just take a look at the nodes. Um, an incinerate immune, someone who can shrug off the uh, debuffs, like, I don't know, Mole Man or something like that, or Kingpin with the hood synergy. They might be... Uh, also some options, but Ghost, Ghost works very well, especially if you have a high SIG, you just make it easier on yourself. Now, if you're not running suicides, then you can just keep on firing special ones, even if you can't get to a special two. So um, I would recommend Ghost if you have her. If not, go in with somebody that has um, strong specials, incinerate immune, or can shrug them off. Now, this fight here, I need to learn America Chavez, okay? I really do, because something happens in this fight that I didn't even understand what happened, okay? So you see here, I'm firing off my special two. Nice damage, right? We really only need maybe one more of those, and we're good, right? So... I'm trying to build up the power. I'm trying to bait out her special here. She doesn't want to fire a special. I don't know why. So I'm hitting into our block to back her off. Now, I should have interrupted this. 
but I didn't. All right, so I'm still trying to get her to fire the special. All she did was fire a heavy off. All right, now she finally fired it off. Okay, and I dash back to um, uh, get rid of that bleed. I think it's a poison. Is it a uh, incinerate and bleed? I believe it is. All right, so here I am. I'm in the corner, and look at this. Now she's firing her special off like crazy. Okay, but I'm just like, okay, we're good. All right, I'm I'm building up now, building up to the special too, letting her miss. There we go, and I died. I did 51k damage, and then I died. And I'm sitting here like, what just happened? What just happened? That should have been the death blow for America Chavez. What happened? But anyway, I bring in Kingpin to uh, finish the fight off. At this point, I still don't know what happened to uh, my ghost, how she just died like that, okay? Uh, but that's because I don't really know America Chavez. All right. So I'm just like, all right, you know, we're just going to keep going. You know, if I took damage from a special and only specials can do damage, that's kind of ugly. That's that's really ugly. All right. Um, but anyway, Kingpin, of course, he has the hood synergy. So he's shrugging, um, converting any of the uh, debuffs uh, that are getting on me. All right, you see me pausing here because I'm trying to bait out her special one. I don't really want to deal with that special two. Really don't. All right, so here we go. And I hit her with this special one, hoping that I didn't get any damage back like I got just a little bit ago because I really didn't fully understand what killed me. All right, so here we go. She's very free with them now. She's got 2% health. Cool. Just need one more special. And she's down. But my ghost is gone. So I'm just like, man, I really want to use ghost for this path. She's like perfect for it. And I'm thinking, you know what? I could just revive her and uh, use her on this cord. But I said, all right, I may still revive her. But I, I want to play around with Kingpin a little bit against Korg. I, I don't fight Korg with Kingpin. So this is just me playing around. Now, something you're going to notice in here, and I know somebody's going to mention it. I'm taking a lot of damage because I'm hitting with medium attacks. All right, so I'm getting a lot of damage back. That's on purpose. I don't really care. I'm not trying to solo this fight. I'm just trying to get as much damage in as possible. So I'm just fighting like regular. Uh, now, if I were better at light attack intercepts, I'd be able to do this with pretty much anybody. Core can be uh, beaten with anyone, okay? Um, if you know how to do the light intercepts, but I don't. Uh, so I just go in and just fight. You know, as long as I can get in some good licks, I figure that I will finish this off uh, later. I'm playing horribly, but again, it's because I'm just trying to get, you know, some damage in. Okay, I missed my opportunity. The AI loves to fire their specials so that you can't get your special off and the timer will run out. Okay, but you can see here, you know, we're getting down to the wire here. And he's at about 53% health. That's all good. Again, just trying to do as much damage as possible. All right, we can get his shield down one more time. And see, I'll just go in with a medium knowing that I'm gonna take the damage. But his shield is shattered, so I can get in another lick. One more uh, special attack. All right, so he's down to 38%. And I'm thinking that this is probably going to be it. Okay, that's probably where we're going to end. I don't have enough uh, health to keep on hitting like I've been doing. All right, we evaded that, but I'm at 5%. So um, 6% now. But as soon as I fire off another special, that's going to be it. All right, so here we go. We actually got one more in. His shield was down. 
All right, so we got him to 19%. But I don't really have much more in the tank. So there we go. He's down. But we did a, a good amount of damage. So what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm not going to revive him, but I will revive uh, Ghost because I'm thinking I want to use Ghost later on. So... You know, you see me sitting here thinking, I'm just like, man, do I want to use, when I, do I want to do, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it. You know, you look look at my revives. I'm, I'm capped out. I have a bunch of level one revives in my overflow. There's also an item use on. That's one of the things that I realized while I was waiting. So I'm just like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use up some uh, potions. You know, I don't usually use the potions up, you know, um, but with item use on, more points. All right, so with Ghost, it's easier to do the light intercept. So you can see here, boom, and just counter with a light. Very easy. But that right there, because he changed up his attack, which got me upset. All right, but we finished him off. You know, we took a little bit of damage, but um, he changed up his attack and messed up my timing. And I was just like, oh, okay, I see how you want to play. But yeah, with Ghost... It's a little bit trickier, but we're good. Now, this fight here. If you are doing this and you're going to follow my path, bring in a counter for Thing. Now, I used Nick Fury. This was a long fight. All right. Um, that protection kept popping up. It kept popping up. Okay. Very annoying fight here. In fact, we're not going to even watch the whole fight um, in regular. I'm going to actually speed it up because it actually took, it was the longest fight. It was longer than the boss fight. Um, but here I'm learning a little bit about the dynamics of this fight. <clears throat> okay. And I know how to fight thing with uh, pretty much anybody, uh, especially uh, Nick Fury. All right. So you see, I'm speeding it up for you guys. Uh, but what I started to learn was that I wanted to fire a lot of specials, all right? Now, I want you to watch the health because it's important to know that one of the uh, nodes, I believe it was triple threat, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Basically, when you get those debuffs on you, the higher your combo meter, the less damage they do. And if you're running willpower, you're gonna be healing. Look at my health. Look at the combo meter. I got hit, yeah, but look at look at my health. We actually did this fight in the decoy. The decoy did this fight. He just kept healing, okay? And I just kept working him down, working him down. It was a long fight. But when I saw what was happening, look, look, look at my combos, okay? We're getting to the end, finally. Okay, just look at the combos. It was crazy. All right, now you might have a better counter for this thing. Nick Fury worked, but as you could see, it was a long fight. But we got it done. And even though I messed up a few times, got hit a few times, we still managed to pull out with a lot of health. And you can pause that and look and see what my highest hit count, how many hits it actually took me, all right? But that was the last fight on the path. It was annoying, so annoying, all right? Now, this fight um, against the boss was with uh, Stealth Suit Spidey, okay? After that fight, I don't know if you noticed it, but um, I, actually I actually stopped the recording after that thing fight and took a little bit of a break, just a little break. You can tell from the energy, all that good stuff about how long the break was. And then I started recording again and I decided to bring in Magneto because Stealth Suit Spidey, of course, is hashtag metal. And anytime you see hashtag metal, think Magneto, Red Magneto. All right, I don't know if he's gonna do well against uh, any of the other ones, but against Stealth Suit Spidey, I'll tell you this, this fight 
the boss fight with Magneto was easier than the fight that you just saw with um uh uh thing. All right, so you got no hit mercy, you got evasive maneuvers, tenacity, true focus. That true focus, y'all wrong for that kabam. True focus means no ghost. Okay? Uh cuz ghost could have easily ripped this one apart. But they wanted to make sure you couldn't use ghost. I ain't like that. But ghost did her work. And now it's a basic fight with Magneto. If you've ever seen a fight with Magneto, you know how this goes. Okay? It's basically parry, heavy, build up your prowesses, and then fire off a big old special. Now, the tenacity, I really hate because it's not consistent. So I have to kind of wait to see if tenacity is going to kick in. And sometimes I wait too long and they move even though tenacity didn't work. And if I go too quickly, tenacity will hit and they will attack like almost in one move. The tenacity will purify and boom, and they're attacking. Not fun, okay? But it's all good. We're doing well so far. Uh, you'll notice uh, and see right there. I tried to go in tenacity, but he didn't punish me. I'm using my five star who has high sig. So my damage, uh, I won't be taking as much damage. All right, so here I'm starting to build up. I'm waiting. See how I was waiting there? B bait out his special one. All right. And I, I know I'm going to be getting to my special three. So I want to hold it a little bit longer so I can build up to like about 40 prowesses. Now look at that. D do you see what I'm saying? That tenacity, they evade, and then he was already attacking me before, right, right in the middle of my heavy. If I wasn't unstoppable, that would have just been wrecking me, okay? It's, it's really annoying, very annoying, okay? It seems like it, it happens only to his advantage. Like, they have control of it, okay? So I'm building up my prowesses again. I don't want to fire my special uh, off until I have it. There we go, 45 prowesses. Let's see what damage that does. Okay, so he's at, what, 60% health? Boom, 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 down to 29. And the party's over. He's done. So that's it. So other than that one little time that he, you know, snuck me, and I think that the, the AI cheats. But anyway, that little time... The fight was pretty simple. Now look at this. I thought I waited long enough for enough energy. I was not using any of my energy refills just to get to that last node. Okay, so I waited again. And as soon as I got the three energy, that's when I came back and uh, hit that and we were done. All right, so that's gonna do it guys. That is uh, Act 7, Chapter 3, Quest 3. Hopefully this will help you out when you run through your initial clear. Take care and you all have a blessed day.